Have you ever wanted to run your own zoo into the ground like me? Well, now you can with this brand new computer game, Zoo Tycoon 2, which is definitely new. This extremely bored looking elephant is about the best introduction to my zoo that my guests are ever going to get. This tiger, far too excited. This gorilla, I'm not completely sure what's going on on that face. I think that might actually just be a real gorilla head. The first thing I want when people come in the park is for them to see opportunities to spend money. I'm not allowed to put ATMs outside the gate, so I'm going to put them as close to the gate as I'm allowed. Hopefully this won't actually stop people from getting in, but it will make it very clear from the outset what they're meant to do here. Now there's a bunch of perfectly viable animals up for adoption, but one of them is a velociraptor. And I feel like I can't not choose the Velociraptor. Okay, I opened the park. It's called Fartland. I've got a goal to reach $1,500 in donations. And I'll receive some free animals. I'm not going to raise that much. There's still a hole in this fence. I don't know if it's going to be a problem or not. We'll find out. No one's complaining. Wait, I forgot to give absolutely any way for the zookeepers to get in. You will probably want to get in to feed the animals. Okay, I'm starting to get really concerned that people actually can't get past the ATMs. Because they're all just sort of backing up here. I don't think they can get past the ATMs. Okay, I'm actually going to have to move them back a bit. Okay, I may have been a little overly keen. I'll just put them on either side of the door. They're all fucking off. They paid their admission, looked at some ATMs and went home. That's the most miserable thing in the world. He's raking poo. Good job, guys. Can't let anyone see that dinosaur poo. See, this guy here, Brandon, he's got the right idea. I can't wait to see some animals. Good job, you came to the right place. I have dinosaurs. Just velociraptors. Got myself some dodos. I assume those are dodos. They look like dodos. They waddle about. I've never seen a dodo, so how would I know? Now, of course, I need to get the most important part down, the donation boxes. Please donate to me, please. Please. I may have to hire another zookeeper. Now that I have four velociraptors and two dodos, and this one very overworked person who has to feed all of them. I forgot to put a fucking door in again. Okay, hang on. I'll just drop you in the pen. And then I'll get a door while you panic trying to figure out how to get in and out. Keeper Wickham cannot reach the small poop. What a disaster. Look, if you can't even reach small poops, I don't think you're going to last long in this job. Just what are you doing? He's lost the plot completely. This poor guy, he needs to go home. Ah, it's a shame you're not going home. Okay, I've paid someone to dress as a dinosaur and dance on a stage. The eyes, the pupils in the eyes aren't even level. That's the shittest costume I've ever seen. And yet somehow, this one guy likes it. It's neat seeing happiness resting in the shade structure. What? What, what is happiness? Oh yeah, I called one of the dodos happiness. <laughs> and uh, the, the other one is called hope. Okay. Tell you what, if people like this entertainer so much, put a donation box next to the stage. If you like it, you can pay for it. Or not, since that is how donations work, they are optional. These dodos look so much like, it's like the animal version of a shitpost. They just don't look real. They look like they were designed to be shit. Go put down these dodo rocks, which are apparently toys for them, or something. Use it, show me. Nibble on it. That took months of research. It, it fucking ate it. I, I spent like months researching this and like $300 and they're just eating them. This is why you guys went extinct. You're too fucking needy for your own good. You're just stupid birds that can't even fly. And you just eat mounds of bananas and rocks. It's fucking dumbasses. I thought this guy's name was Daddy Reddy for a minute there, but it's actually David Reddy. I'm slightly disappointed. Although, actually, I do have the power. Yeah, there we go. Fixed your name for you. Okay, I have 
apparently raised enough money to get these free animals. Uh, there's a crate next to my zoo entrance or something. What? Oh fuck, they're just sitting here. Uh, can we not do that? Well, I guess I'm, I'm building a, an enclosure really quickly. I can just uncrate it right here. Okay, I don't want to fuck things up that much that quickly. So we'll uncrate it inside its enclosure. <laughs> okay, Big Bird is now pregnant. I don't even know which thing Big Bird is. I'm going to have to have a look and find out. Okay, Big Bird is one of the Velociraptors. I must have thought I was really clever when I came up with that name. Also, one of them is called I Will Eat Your Face. So I think I was probably running out of ideas. Why is there a child in here? What? Ah! How the fuck did a child get in here? Help, I will eat your face is chasing me. Is there some place for me to sit down? Is that why you came in here? Bloody hell, how did you even get in there? There's still a hole in this fence. I don't know if it's going to be a problem or not. Get on the stage, dinosaur man, distract everyone. Oh, no, he's fucking off. I need you to distract everyone from how they nearly got eaten by a dinosaur. Running around being a dinosaur and scaring them probably isn't helping. Like, if anything, that's probably the last thing you should be doing. That's it, just do your shit dance with your fucking shit eyes. Make the children feel good, that kid is crying. Honestly, these this is way more fun than the rest of the game. Just taking pictures of these animals and zookeepers working together, or living together, maybe more accurate. And the little babies and the, the, the velociraptor scratching its ass. I tried making a viewing platform for the giant camel, but it looks a bit shit to be honest. I mean, it's, it is a platform. You can go up there and look at it. I don't know who, who will. Okay, the giant camel is running right at the fence. I called it Big Shit Dog, because I couldn't think of another name. Why is the dinosaur entertainer up here on the giant camel viewing platform doing his shit dance? Why is there a person down there? The cleaning lady is sweeping the grass underneath the viewing platform. Why? Going to sit on bench. She's had a long day of doing fuck all where no one will ever see it. This whole zoo on the very lowest amount of money that it's probably possible for a zoo to have. I am so close to being broke. Please buy more subs, Mr. Simon Alboros. Your name sounds like something I would keep here. It's the coffee. The coffee's all they want. Coffee and Subway sandwiches, that's all they want. There's theoretically a turtle in here, fuck knows where, there it is. This salad food stand is yet to make any money. It is only losing me money. I've made a $12 income from water. $96 from Subway sandwiches. The pattern is pretty clear. Nobody gives a shit about water or salad. What happens if I use camera mode while over the water? Oh, I can walk on water. That's okay. Oh no, can I? Can I swim? I can swim. This is amazing. This is actually brilliant. Ignore that turtle shoving its face in the rock and swimming through the other turtle. This is brilliant. This is great. This is the best thing ever made by games. Games should stop now. The, the fucked it. It's too good. I just realized my washing machine is on. I'm probably ruining all of this. What the fuck, dude? My entertainer has just entered the turtle enclosure. What are you doing? Entertaining Annabelle Dobney. Why? Who? Who the fuck is that? That person's not even here. Get out of the enclosure, you stupid prick. Well, our park's looking okay. It's, it's looking pretty shit, to be honest. It's pretty messy and weird and lopsided and balls, but I tried. I've got an empty enclosure here, which I'll have to put something in. Got turtles you can barely see over here. Got some dodos, which apparently just laid another dodo. Got some velociraptors, which remains the coolest and most inconsistent part of my park. That bit where I decided that dinosaurs were the theme. There's also giant camels over here. And some angry people who want dessert carts. Well, tough shit. I don't have any and I'm not getting any. 
And over here I've got what was meant to be a little shopping square, but no one was buying the salad or the water, so now those are gone. And I'm also losing money. Anyway, that's, a, that's enough for me now. I'm going to stop because I want to stop before my park turns to complete shit. And I have a feeling it's going that way now. So, bye.